nothing like the great outdoors, huh, girls? <sighs> uh, girls? Down here, Grandma. Polly? The great outdoors is, well, great, but massaging recliners are incredible. It's like being in a super relaxing rocket launch. And we can operate it on our phones. This isn't girls' fancy weekend glamping in the woods. It's girls' weekend camping in the woods. Time to get some fresh mountain air. We are getting that. My air scentifier is pumping the pine. It also has a maple bacon <laughs> hot dog setting that smells like biting into a real maple bacon hot dog. What about biting into a real hot dog? This isn't really camping. What's real camping, then? According to the camper's companion, a camper is no camper at all unless they can spark a fire in a fire-safe zone. Does your camper have a setting for sparking a campfire like that? No, but if I can build this camper, I'm sure I can start a fire. Come on, Shawnee. <laughs> okay. Go big! Let me see that. Easy. Why don't you relax in the camper and we'll have a fire going in no time. Relax? While camping? Well, I... Mmm. <laughs> that maple bacon hot dog scent does smell pretty scrumptious. Okay. Tiny power me, Polly. Grandma, tiny power! <sighs> Yum. Better turn it up to turbo. Possible to start a fire with just twigs. Could we just use my travel size Bunsen burner? Nope. When building a campfire that's safer, the answer should always come from nature. Ugh, these sticks are unsparkable. Let's go find some better ones. Earl, where'd you put the garlic ribs I had marinating? Who took my candy cauliflower? Yeah, my hot dog buns are missing. My artisanal small batch mustard is gone. Gone! Wow, people at this campground sure have a hard time keeping track of their food. At least we know Grandma P is always prepared. I'm sure she brought enough food to go around. <laughs> wow, this massage chair is no joke. <laughs> It appears I've been taken by a bear. Huh. All right, Grandma. We're gonna build the best fire. Grandma? Bear! <laughs> bear! Wait! Don't take my grandma! <laughs> Where'd he go? I don't know, but wherever he went, he took my camper. And my grandma. Oh, I can find him with my camper tracker. It's in my backpack. In the camper. Huh. Maybe Grandma's book on camping will tell us what to do. Good thinking, Shawnee. It says here we should look for the bear's tracks. Huh. There! Huh? Those weren't bear tracks. It's just Bigfoot. Well... People are usually more excited to see me. Have I lost my touch? Is the world too big for a Bigfoot? Uh, sorry to interrupt your self-reflection, Mr. Foot, but have you seen a bear with a tiny camper? Oh, yeah, that guy, he went down that trail. Thank you, Mr. Foot. For the record, I always believed in you. <laughs> and just like that, I'm back in the game. Oh, no! How are we going to cross? Use a floating vessel such as a canoe, paddleboard, or pontoon. Where are we supposed to find one of those? Huh. They're all around you if you're small enough. Tiny power! It 
says, climb a tree to survey the landscape. Hello, marvelous Mrs. Maple. <laughs> really tall tree. You've got this, Shawnee. Right, for Grandma. Yeah, hashtag Team Grandma. Go big! <laughs> 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 I got you. The bear! But if we go back down, we might lose him. So we fly. Tiny power! I love the great outdoors! <gasps> He's going into that cave! to eat us, we get out of sight while we figure out what to do. All about bears. To scare off a bear, stand tall and look big. Don't run, no matter how scared you are. Bears don't scare me. Rah! Um, how about... <clears throat> Rah! I think it might work better if we were, you know, big. Oh, right. Go big! <laughs> Don't tell me Bigfoot led job course. Wait, you know Mr. Foot? Roar! <laughs> nice bear. Tiny power! <laughs> Hide! <laughs> Polly, we should go while he's distracted. But. <laughs> Wait! He's hurt! I think there's a splinter of the kayak stuck in his gums. That can't feel good. Uh, anything in this book about emergency bear dentistry, Grandma? I wish I could say there was. Mm. Poor bear. We have to help him. I have a plan. Tiny power! Getting back to nature means no showers, but ugh, you could use one. Oh, I have one in the camper. <laughs> or I had one. Guess I won't be using that camper again. <gasps> You're giving me back my camper? I think he wants to say thank you, Polly. Whoa. Did this book teach you how to speak bear? Nah. Some things about nature you just feel. You're welcome, Bear. Anytime. Sure, that maple bacon hot dog smell was something, but nothing beats the real stuff. Mm. Ah, 
This is what I love about camping. The crisp air, the sky above, the... <gasps> Polly! That wasn't me! <laughs> I think our little bear friend had a good feast. <laughs> I'll say. I can almost smell his belch all the way from here. Ooh. Or maybe I missed a spot. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. I'm doing the Mick Twist. Yeah, I get it, Polly. Skate Chic is so in right now. Her timing is perfect. Okay. <laughs> Just want to let you know, Polly, the angle of the ramp seems a little precarious. No prob. I got this. Count me down. Three, two, one! <laughs> Tonight, Peachy Girl. <laughs> Minor setback. Let's try that again. But it's way too dangerous. Shawnee's right. What if Peaches hadn't been there to save you? It would have meant serious grass stains on your perfect pants. <sighs> and even more serious injuries. <sighs> no matter how many videos I watch, my McTwist is always a McFail. Maybe it's time for an IRL teacher. Inverse Romanian loofah teacher? I'm there. No better way to loofah, in my opinion. IRL, a teacher in real life. That's for sure the way to go. But there's only one person I know who's actually mastered the move. Your brother can do the McTwist, but he can't chew with his mouth closed? <laughs> he's a skating savant, and he's always more accommodating when he's just sandwiched. So this is perfect. Mm. Hey, Pierce. Um, so I've been skateboarding a bunch lately. Uh-huh. But I can't seem to get the hang of the McTwist. The McTwist? That's the raddest. The thing is, you gotta feel secure, obviously. But then it's all about momentum. Your legs are... Yeah. My legs are what? What? You know what? You're not ready for this, Polly. Plus, skinning's kind of my thing, not yours. Ugh, Pierce, why does he have to pull the jerky Big Brother card? Actually, I think something's up. He didn't even eat the whole sub. That is strange. Should we...? Absolutely. Tiny power! <laughs> He took a skateboard. Should we? Yeah. So, he doesn't have time to teach me, but all the time in the world to hang with these guys? Should we? You know it. Go big! So then I said, those aren't donuts. Those are my wheels, dude! <laughs> <laughs> Pierce! Uh-oh. Uh you know these little dweebs? Beat it, Polly. Serious shredders only. Wow, thanks a lot, bro. Ha! That's your sister? 
and you guys hang out? Hey, everyone! Pierce is besties with his little sister! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Torbet. This area's for advanced skaters only. We're pretty advanced. Teeny Twerpina thinks she's advanced. Huh. Better stick to the kitty ramp. It's more your itty bitty size. Oh, snap. <laughs> Skateboarders are usually so cool, but that guy is a billion times less cool than he thinks. He is one rude dude. We belong in the advanced bowl. Whoa, so does he. Wow, awesome moves. Thanks. I'm Polly. These are my friends, Lila and Shawnee. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Hamal. Why aren't you skating in the big bowl? You're amazing. You mean Devin's bowl? No way is he letting me near that. That's not fair. The skate park should be for everyone. Try explaining that to Devin. I will. We're gonna get that bowl back. I wish you luck, cause I got a feeling you're gonna need it. Wait up, guys. Devin! We demand that you let Hamal and any other kids skate in this bowl. I don't just let anyone into the bowl, kid. Look at Pierce. Dude proved he was good enough to be part of my crew. And to be part of my crew, you gotta be loyal. Isn't that right? If Pierce proved he's good enough, so can I. So can all of us. No way Teeny McTwerp's as good as we are. Wanna bet? Huh? We'll hold a skate competition. If we win, we get control of the bowl and we let everyone in. If your crew wins, you can keep control. Ha! Dumbest bet ever! It'll be a skate-off. The dev crew versus the twerpy twerps. May the best team win. Ooh, Gigi's gonna love this. Skate date! <laughs> if we can't practice there, we'll replicate the bowl here. Model perfection. Hi, Polly Export on your 3D printer was great. And I've redesigned your safety equipment to maximize aerodynamics and minimize helmet head. Nice. Are you ready to train for the competition of your life? <laughs> yeah! So are you sure you want to wear those shoes with that dress? <clears throat> will be the most advanced move that any of Devin's crew can do. And you're the only skater on our team skilled enough to try it. This is it. Moment of truth. you didn't nail that one move doesn't mean you won't kill it in the competition. Wait, if Polly kills it, her safety gear better not die too. I spent a lot of time on it. Anyway, maybe Hamal has the move down. Hamal! Dude, that's not how you wear a beanie. Duh. Better now? Nah. Your board should have wolves on it, not ducks. Dude, ducks are cool. They have three eyelids and can see in color. I'm Pierce. I like ducks. Lame. Hey, speaking of ducks, duck face! <sighs> Maybe your brother didn't want you here because he was shielding you from that goof. No way. Pierce shielding me? If I stop practicing, I might remember we're facing off with the scariest dude at the park. 
And then I'll want to puke. So, practice is better. of you, Hamal. We'll take care of the competition. But being one competitor short means we have to forfeit. Hey, Chicksters! Did I, like, hear you need another skater person? I'm like, so your girl. Luckily, I came prepared with a mascot. It's like, you know, science that mascots help win, um, rolly thingies. Well, we have to win so we can make the whole park a place where everyone in Littleton can skate. So, you're in. What's your name? Ma Kit! <laughs> Call me Kit. That's me. <laughs> cool. Final check on safety gear. Lila, any finishing touches? Ooh, we are looking so hot that the dev crew will melt in our wake. Oh, yeah, girlfriend. Those... Outfits are so off the fish hook. <laughs> I wonder if that locket's weighing you down, though. Messing with your aerodynamics? It's way too small for that. Come on, girls, let's show them what we got. It's time to take these babies down. This is our bowl. The kitties can stay in the little bowl. It's a skate-off. Ramps, half-pipe, and the advance bowl. Each team's got to perfectly execute the trick the other team does. If you wipe out, you're out. Last skater standing wins. You probably should have been out before you started. Should have stuck to the kitty bowl. Should have. May the best team win. Good luck, Pierce. Hey, be careful. Dude, you don't shake hands with the enemy. You're loyal to me. Dude, stop treating my brother like that. He can shake hands with whoever he wants to. You got your little sis defending you now? Why would you do that after I've been so uncool to you? You're my brother. Come on, time to get rolling. One of you guys should take this event. I gotta conserve my energy for the big stuff. Your sister can really rip. 
You better pick it up, dude, or you'll never shred this bull again. She's got some moves, but there's no way my little sis will beat us. Pierce, skate for the team in the final big bull round. Me? But I just did the- You in or not? Don't go all lame-o ducko on me, bro -o. The only duckos are on my board Devo. You know that. Ha! <laughs> Ooh, we're looking good. Like, we actually have a chance good. Except for Kit. She seems a little unbalanced. Hey! Uh, wait for me! <laughs> well, the only thing left is the advance bowl. You ready to take it on, Polly? Ready or not, that tiger says it's time. Nice move, my homies! We got this, huh, shorties? Ah! GG! <laughs> Griselle? Of course! We should have known! I mean, her shoes alone would- Look out! Give me that locket! I'm coming to help, GG! What the? Uh, how? Oh no! Uh, look at all these acorns falling into the advanced bowl! Whoa! Competition off till we clear the bowl! said the public bowl was being fixed until next... This is a shortcut! We're getting ready to shrink Littleton with this locket. Oh, gotcha. Perfect. They're taking the shortcut. Let's go. to win. Go big! Oh, Glenn. Ah, Lila, Shawnee! Ah, they were just about to call it a forfeit. Look who's back. <sighs> well, let's get this over with so I can get back to my bowl. Competition back on! Hey, Pierce, may the best pocket win. May the best pocket win. <laughs> Ducko's twerpy sister is sadder than he is. <laughs> you know, Devin, maybe my brother drives me crazy, and maybe I annoy him too. Occasionally, for who knows what reason. But I wouldn't trade him for anything in the world. Pierce rules. Yeah, rules my skate crew. Now he's gonna make twist you into skate park history, Twerpino. You said before that I was loyal? I'm loyal, all right. To Polly, I quit your crew. Wow. 
Wow, Pierce. What? You're my sister. Play with your sister then. You're replaceable. One of my other guys will take your place. Easy. Who's up? You're on your own, Devin. Yeah, we quit too. I'm going to skate with people who appreciate me. I'll just take on Puny Polly Pocket myself. Bring it on. Devin was so Devin. Yeah, and I'm sorry for trying so hard to look cool when I was so whatever I was. Jerkish, nincompoopy, way uncool with a side of rude. Ooh hoo hoo, look whose leg is almost ready for skinny jeans. As long as he follows the doctor's orders, he'll be skating again soon. Until then, I'll be here teaching a few of my friends. Even Devin. Hey, Devin! Everyone! Meet me in the bowl! Check this out! Oh, my God, my God. Hey, look at me! Look at me! Outfit, yarn, microphone stand. Aw, the old pocket-size your supplies trick. Convenient and easy on the back. But even pocket-sized, I'm running out of room. Between what I need for schoolwork, knitting club, classroom clean crew, modeling for Lila, and helping Shawnee with her science lab, not to mention this afternoon's talent show, I need to save Pierce's magic act, then choir performance. <sighs> You've got a lot on your plate, and you're still helping others. That's my locket bearer, girl. Thanks, Grandma. I might be the youngest pocket to have the locket, but I want to be the one to make the biggest difference ever. Without us. Girls! Polly? Where are you? And why do you sound so old? Ahem. Oh, oh, hi, Polly's grandma. grandma. Help Polly. She's stuck in that big, uh, little pile. Uh oh. <laughs> Thanks. You never know how much you have till you're buried under it all. Go big! <laughs> Same time next week, Grandma? Oh, can't wait. And remember, Keep your eyes peeled for ways to help, and you'll find being tiny can make the biggest difference. Bye, Polly Pie. You can't actually take all this stuff, but I need it all. Check my to-do list. Oh, that's my to-do alarm. Gotta run. <sighs> Helping me, Polly. Love the jungle couture.
Go big funny! Huh? Ta-da! Make every day count for sure. Try more than they did before. The world's a stage and you're a star. Shine and show how bright you are! That was great, Polly. Your dance was so funny. It almost looked like you really didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went with a method approach. <sighs> Looks like someone needs to call it a night. But it's not even dark yet. Uh-oh, to-do alert. See, I need to study. You can study over the weekend. But my weekend's already mega super booked. Can't I just go to Peanuts Pit Stop with Shawnee and Lila and study with them a little? Please? <laughs> Game almost over. We really need to study. One dozen? Okay, bye. One dozen? Yeah, okay, bye. Hey, Peanut, is everything okay? No. Last week, I created this recipe the world's best cupcakes. Taste! Mm. Mm. Peanut, this is amazing. What's, What's amazing? Mm. 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 So good! I know. Uh. But, Peanut, isn't this good news? Good! These cupcakes are so good, orders are through the roof! I can barely keep up. Your brother's been a big help on deliveries, but still, I haven't slept for days. Uh, again with the orders! Excuse me. Uh, just give it to me straight! How many dozen for tonight? Aw, poor Peanut. Sleep signs would indicate he's entered the no snooze brain lose territory. Mm. Yeah, total bummer. Think we can get him to make us an extra dozen? Lila, Peanut doesn't need more orders, he needs our help. There, now helping Peanut is officially on the to-do list. Another chance for me to make a difference. Peanut, we're going to... <laughs> One dozen. Mm. Yep, okay, bye. According to the Journal of Getting Your Z's, a person Peanut's age will need at least six more hours shut-eye before he can really function. <sighs> Why is your phone still beeping? You've already done a million things today. Actually, helping Peanut put me behind on studying, and knitting a blanket for Pax, and helping my dad fix the sink. But it's okay, I'll get to it all. Now, ready, Lila? Ready. <laughs> And since we made them all pocket-sized to bake and frost all at once, all we have to do is... Go big! Cupcake! Go big! Cupcake! Ha! We did it! Uh... Shawnee? Uh, two dozen. Lila? Perfect. Will you power nap? I'll get my studying done. Peanut, I'm here for the evening delivery run. <gasps> Pierce, Lila, Shawnee, wake up. <sighs> Thanks. I was having a nightmare that I was wearing wool socks with flip-flops. <sighs> Listen, we have to hide. Pierce is coming. Peanut. <clears throat> Peanut? <clears throat> oh, these must be the deliveries. And the delivery list. Thanks, Peanut. Maybe tonight I'll get enough tips to buy my Mega Burn concert tickets. See ya, Peanut! Uh, okay, he's got the cupcakes. Now can we go home and catch our Z's? I need my beauty sleep. Yep, go big! Maybe I'm still dreaming, but I don't feel very big. <gasps> my locket is gone! How can my locket be gone? I know I'm behind. I have to figure this out first. There's only one logical answer. You were sleeping on a cupcake, right? Well, the locket must have gotten stuck in the frosting. We have to catch Pierce and find my locket. Now! No! I'm on it. We'll follow him in the quadcopter. Go big, quadcopter! Uh... 
Um, Polly. Oh, right. No rocket, no quadcopter. Now what? Um, hi, Mr. Huffman. I've got your cupcakes. Oh! oh, no. What? Do you see the locket? No, it's Mr. Huffman's fashion faux pas. What's with all the jean jackets? All these are fine. Uh, I think Peanut will accept payment in denim jackets. Um, I don't think so. Why? I thought I ordered a gross denim jacket, but I actually got a gross of denim jackets. That's 144 jackets. But why would anyone order a gross denim jacket? I thought gross was one of those hip things the kids say, like rad or wicked or gnarlesome. Gnarlesome? <laughs> well, what am I gonna do with all these jackets? Uh, got me. Later, Mr. Huffman. <laughs> okay, Mr. Huffman needs help. Adding it to the to-do list. Now, after that scooter! Here's your cupcakes, Mr. Quidnunk. About time. Back in my day, when you ordered for delivery, you got it in 30 minutes or less. Well, at least they look appetizing. But they don't look locketizing. Another bust on the locket trail. Thanks, Mr. Q. <sighs> well, that's a lot of cupcakes for just me, all by myself. And this big house. Hmm. I wonder why Mr. Quidnunk sounds sad. I'm gonna find out. Adding it to the list. Your list can't fit anything else. Of course it can. There's always time to do more. Now let's find that locket. Oh, these look wonderful. <laughs> by the way, I don't suppose you know of any dog sitters, do you? Nope. See ya. Did you guys see that? Miss Sango was begging for help, and Pierce didn't even notice. Luckily, I did. She's on the list. I'll just have to shift around mowing the lawn and alphabetizing Dad's cookbooks. No planning, locketing. Pierce has three more delivery boxes. It has to be in one of them. Just not this one. <sighs> just in time for my line dance rehearsal. I might not have matching recital costumes for my dance crew, but at least I have snacks. <gasps> Mismatch costumes at a dance recital? <gasps> That's a travesty. Adding her to the help list. Aw, oh, Miss Mance. She's moving so slow. Bet she hurt her back. It comes from bad shoes. Oh, yep, last season's. New shoes for Miss Mance. I know, I know, I'm behind. Got your cupcakes, Miss Mance. Oh, they're the only thing that makes me feel better when my back's out. <laughs> Seriously? No tip? <sighs> she didn't let him open the box. How do we know if the locket's on one of her cupcakes? We'll have to look to find out. Can you do us a solid? Whoa, 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 whoa. We can't go into the building. Grizel lives here. We don't have a choice if we're ever gonna get the locket back. Get ready to make a distraction. Hello? Is someone there? Yes! Here. So it has to be in Pierce's last box. Shawnee, Lila, now we know exactly where to find the locket. Yoink! You mean I know exactly where to find the locket. <laughs> and here I thought all I'd get on this trip to the lobby was my mail. Darn teenagers knocking on my door. Uh, Shawnee! I'm the only one getting the locket. 
And if you Rugrats don't have it, you're going to tell me exactly where to find it! Oh, for Pete's sake, stop that infernal beeping! Now tell me where the locket is. If you want to stop the beeping, let us go so I can get to my list. We'll never tell you anything about the locket. Yeah, we couldn't tell you if we wanted to. We don't even know where Pierce is making his last cupcake delivery. Oops. Hmm, Pierce is the Peanuts Pit Stop delivery boy, isn't he? Interesting. For once, you girls were actually helpful. Uh, hey! Hang up! Oh boy. What do we do? Shh! Grizel's planning something. Hello, Peanut. Darling. Yes, I'm the customer who called in the final order today, and I'm hoping you can do me a favor and change the address for my delivery. No! Don't listen to her, Peanut! Yes! The Golden Years Condos on 524 Abingdale Lane. Please send it right up to the penthouse. Bye now! Okay, bye! Ah! It's all over now, Polly Pocket. Your brother will be here any minute. He'll deliver the locket and he'll join you as part of my miniature collection. <laughs> She's going to steal the locket and shrink your brother. Not if I can help it. Pocket huddle. Well, hello. Got your cupcakes, um, Mr. Wu? <gasps> the locket. What? What? I mean, what luck? It's here, my cupcakes. Uh, uh payment first, please. And tips are accepted. Of course, come in. Somebody's got to be my first shrinky. We have to warn him. Pierre! No, warning him means warning her. Stick with the plan and wait for the right moment. It's all up to you, spaghetti. Don't call me spaghetti. Flower, check. Wax paper parachutes ready to deploy. I hope. Paid in full. Now hand over the cupcakes. Uh, did I mention tips are accepted? Maybe if I bring the cupcakes into the kitchen for you. That won't be necessary. Just hand me the box. We're doomed! She's gonna get the locket, shrink Pierce, and we'll all be tiny forever! Gotta be patient. Here you go, right on the table. The most tip-worthy place. Great! Now out of my way! Wait! Aren't you forgetting something? Something on the tip of your tongue. Give me that, you meddling pocket! Now! Are you saying if I have a food fight with you, then I'll get a tip? Okay. Food fight! Watch it! I just hit my highlight! Aw, oh, come on! Where's my tip? We should go back and help first. Mr. Quidnunk, Miss Menz, ourselves. There you are!
Miss Mentz, are you okay? I feel great! <gasps> that smash upset my spine straight! Look! You won't get away from me that easily, Polly Pocket! I I know the feeling, Grizel. Let me help you back to your room. But ow, my, ow, look at, ow. Huh, I wanted to help Miss Mentz, but Grizel did it for me. And now Miss Mentz is helping Grizel. And that's perfect because Grizel's out of our hair. No, I mean, yes, but it's also perfect because they're helping each other. I know, I know, I have to help everyone. Or I could help them help each other. That would make far more mathematical sense than you doing everything yourself. <gasps> like when you were suspenders to hold up your stylishly oversized pants. Clothes helping clothes. <laughs> Come on. So if you promote Pierce to assistant baker, he can earn enough for his mega burn concert and you'll have enough help that you won't need to stay up all night. It's a deal. That's way cool. So, Miss Sanga, if the dog stays with Mr. Quidnunk all day, you won't need a dog sitter. And you won't be lonely anymore. Lonely? Who says I'm lonely? <laughs> <laughs> but if this dog is lonely, I, I, I'm quite happy to help. <laughs> Matching jackets for the whole line dancer crew. And Lila on it. Dazzling Levy. Dazzled. Oh, girls, this is perfect. You know, I'm quite the lion dancer myself. <laughs> and I already fit the costume. Check and check. Matching everyone up made a difference for a lot of people. And we want to make a difference, too. So, I'll help Shawnee with her next lab experiment. And I'll model for Lila, so you can have time to study. You are the best, best friends. <laughs> Oh, Polly, before you head up to bed, be sure to lay out everything you need for tomorrow. Okay, there's capoeira first thing in the morning, then synchronized jazz walking, uh, and then you've got... <sighs> Actually, Mom, I feel like I might be doing too much. Would you be really upset if I just focused on a few things? Oh, Polly, I would love that. I was afraid you were burning yourself out. Thanks, Mom. From now on, I'm giving up chess club and origami class and homework. Yeah, nice try. You still have to hit the books. But other than that, you should focus only on the things you really love. The things I really love, huh? Hey, Mom, you know what I would love to do tomorrow? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel like we're missing one thing. Hello, Peanuts Pit Stop. Hey, Peanut, I'd like to order... Two dozen? Yeah. Okay, bye. Two more dozen. They're for your sister. You got it, boss. Hold on. Quadcopter banking left. <laughs> Pretty smooth, right? Smooth as satin bell bottoms. Smooth as my grandma's elbows. <laughs> <laughs> Tricking out this drone wasn't easy, but my new mod quad does more than just fly. Look! <laughs> Super Supremo Snack Station. Amazing! Magnificent Makeover Station. <gasps> Amazingly amazing. Uh, do you have an excellent emergency system? Why would we need that? Because you're steering us right into that! According to plan.
Normally you'd mention threading the needle and I'd be all for it, but this time, me no likey. I really thought I had the steering thing down. I was sure I wouldn't crash this time. This time? You mean you've crashed before? Only 128 times. But you know what they say. Get out while you still have all your limbs? No, the 129th time's the charm. <gasps> uh, did you just peep? Lila, that wasn't Shawnee. Look! Cute. I would never take a selfie with him because he might outshine my cuteness. He's so cute that I want to hug him. No, Polly. The bird is cute, but he's a wild animal. He doesn't look wild. If you don't believe me, let's search it. Keywords bird, Littleton, super cute. He's a tufted pip springer. See? They live only in the wild. And as with all wild birds, they're not to be touched. Right. But, um, what if he touches me? Oh, I know, right? He loves me. And I love you, too. I always wanted a pet bird. I think I'm gonna keep him. Aww. Wait! Rules are rules. No matter how cute, we have to leave the bird alone. Okay, I guess. I'll miss you, baby bird. <laughs> Polly, look! Are you imitating me? Hmm. <laughs> he is imitating you! He wants to be just like you! It's called imprinting. It means he thinks you belong together. I think we belong together, too! Oh, Shawnee, please, can I keep him? Uh, decide fast, because we need to get out of here now! Captain Collywobbles? Go home! Right this... Whoa! Ah, go big! Uh, hi, Mr. Quidnunk. Peeper's playing tricks on me again. Captain Collywobbles, go home and no more trying to get Polly's bird. <laughs> Okay, you can keep him. Welcome home, baby bird. I bet you want to clean up and relax, so... Ooh, I know. Spa time! Exactly. Ready? Tiny power! Whoa! Good things do come in small packages. So, Shawnee. Any info about what spa treatments tufted pipspringers like? Nothing official. But I read a book once where these alien bird creatures got these laser brain massages and... I'm sure that doesn't apply. I guess we'll just have to wing it. sweater we found for Baby Bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's something I... Come on, let's show him all his new stuff. Wait, I have to tell you something. Hey, Baby Bird! Baby Bird! Baby Bird? He's gone! I don't see him anywhere. Did Captain Collywobbles get in here? No, he's been napping on my bed all morning. Once you look past the fact that he tries to eat us whenever we're small, 
he's really a good cat. Then where's my bird? Baby bird! Oh, no! Cool your jet black jumper, Polly. He's a bird. He flies. He can't, Lila. He doesn't know how to. He must have found a way to hop up there. I'm coming, baby bird. Genie, set room to bounce-tastic. As you wish, Polly. Tiny power! You can let go! I've got you! There. You're safe. What are you doing? He's trying to fly away. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Fly away? But he loves it here. He hasn't even tried on his new sweater yet. I did more research. Every year, tufted pip springers fly to Woodgrove Preserve to meet with all the other pip springers. When they're all together, they migrate south. There's a live stream from Woodgrove Preserve, see? All the birds are there. They'll be taking off soon. Shawnee, come on. Does this bird look like he wants to fly away from me? Well, no. But it is his instinct to fly. Then he can do it right here in Littleton. We'll teach him. Okay, you're all set. You ready? Wings in place. And all feathered up fancier than a peacock. Then let's fly. Oh, no. My hair frizz alert says a big storm's on the way. What are we going to do? We'll teach him fast. <sighs> I meant, what are we going to do about my hair? Maybe we should wait until tomorrow. Or the next day. Or never. Safety, you know? The bird wants to fly today, so today we fly. 130th time's the charm, right? <laughs> He's doing great! At the count of three, you'll go solo. Ready? One, two, three! Yes! You did it! You're flying! Wait, what? Where are you going? He's heading south, the direction where the other tufted pip springers are. No way! He's just lost. Baby bird, if you want to stay with me, Polly, your favorite person in the whole world, fly this way. See, I knew he wanted to stay with me. Let's circle around town, then we'll bring him home. But remember, that website said his home should be Woodgrove Preserve. Why? He's never even been there. Home is where the heart is, and the baby bird's heart is with me. Now let's fly! When have you done everything I have asked? You know the storm is coming! Yes, Gigi, I know the storm's coming. I'm bringing the flamingos in right now. Huh? <gasps> A baby bird! Oh, I want him, I want him, I want him! Ha! <laughs> Got you my new favorite pet ever! <laughs> no! Polly, are you sure you can land this thing? Are you okay? Boo. Mentally, I may never recover, but physically, I'm fine. Me too, I think. Let me see. Oh, the tassel looks good for me. Yep, I'm fab. Phew, the mod quad's okay, but I'd better keep it safe in my backpack. Tiny power! <laughs> 
Now all we have to do is get up there and save my bird. I can't believe he's stuck in Grizel's penthouse. Can you imagine the decor? <laughs> we'll get him out. This is a good idea, Polly. There's no choice. We have to save Baby Bird. Whoa. This is seriously freaky. Lions and tigers and gnomes? Oh, my. <gasps> Incredible. Even her dolls need makeovers. Imagine if she had your locket. All those miniatures would be made from real people. <sighs> Won't happen. She's not getting my locket, and she's not getting my bird. <gasps> my bird! No sign of the Grandes. Let's move! Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Me. <laughs> Ew. Eat. Shh. We'll get you out of here. Don't worry. I love you too, but we have to run. I have the flamingos, Gigi. Sure looks just like my new baby bird. Hmm, that one looks just like. Huh? Gigi must have gotten a Polly Pocket figure for her collection. <gasps> oh, it is my new baby bird! And Polly Pocket's trying to steal him! Uh oh, run! <laughs> No, Tiny Polly Pocket, you wait. Wait till I get Gigi and tell her I capture you. Guess who's getting a second helping of dessert tonight? Oh, Gigi! Gwen! Gwen! Honestly, if Grizel's gonna decorate with birds, she should at least go with some that add a splash of color. Throw in a parrot every once in a while. But you gotta admit, the biological accuracy is remarkably impressive. There's always a way. We just have to find it. <gasps> I know. Go big. Good thinking, Shawnee. Go big! <laughs> oh, boy. Go small! Tiny power! Tiny power! <laughs> <laughs> I guess going big isn't always the answer. Now all we need is for Grizel to have a time machine in her collection, so we can't go back and do that again. Her collection? I got it! <gasps> we can use the gnome gardening shears to cut through the wire! My thoughts exactly. <laughs> Good. I was very busy building important things. I got Polly Pocket! Well, where is she? Uh, but she was right there! Oh. Hey, what's the Pocket? No! As long as 
you get us home before the storm hits. I'm not going home, Shawnee. I'm going to Woodgrove Preserve. But I thought you wanted to keep him. I did. But then we got trapped in that cage. Tiny humans don't belong in bird cages, and wild birds don't belong in my bedroom. You should be with your family. Woodgrove Preserve, here we come. Uh-oh. Here comes the... Rain! <laughs> and what the heck is that? Help! I'm gonna get you, Polly Pocket! And your nasty little worm eating bird, too! Evasive maneuvers! Punch it! On it! Where are they hiding? Oh, these storm clouds are so thick! <gasps> Sweet satin slacks, we got rid of her. Don't be so sure of that. You won't get away from me, Polly Pocket! I want that locket! She's not giving up. What do we do? Idea. We're slowing down. Uh, why are we slowing down? All part of the plan. <laughs> You're losing power, Polly Pocket, but I'm just getting warmed up! Polly, what are you doing? We can't get through that hole in this wind. We'll get smushed! She's right. Statistically speaking, in all probability, we'll end up a sprinkle on the donut. We're gonna take that chance, Shawnee. Time to thread the needle. Ha 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 ha! Can't run away from me now, Polly! I'm too close! should believe in you, too. And don't worry. I'll help. We'll lead you right to them, okay? Aw, I'm gonna miss you. But I know you'll be happy. You belong with your family. Ready? Go! Do what we do, baby! Come on, guys, clap for him. Clap, 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 clap. You okay, Polly? Yeah, I'm good. Is it the bird? Do you wish you'd kept him? No, not at all. It was definitely right to let him go. Then what's the matter? 
I don't know. I'll miss him and all the fun we had, like when we gave him that makeover. Maybe you don't have to miss that. Ooh la la, you're the perfect dream. <laughs> Aren't you just the cutest? Do mine eyes deceive me? Or is that the prettiest unicorn ever? If we time it just right, we can catch this unicorn! Enough waiting! I want to win! Ah, I'm frozen! <laughs> Noob, I didn't program a Unicorn Quest Rainbow Magic to be that easy. Lila, you're really missing out. I'll be there as fast as I can, but I can't go into a game without a perfectly customized character. <gasps> Shawnee, you put in purple high tops and leopard print combat boots? How do you expect me to choose? <laughs> Johnny, your game's awesome, but I keep getting frozen in ice when I want to be the first to catch the unicorn. Holly, you gotta be patient. This game's all about timing. Uh, does timing look like honey? Because I'm seeing honey. Me too. My screen's got a case of the honey drips. Strange. I didn't program honey into my game. Ah! What's happening? Hmm, there must be something wrong with my laptop. I'm gonna have to shut it down and take it apart. But your laptop's hosting the game. We can't play if it's shut down. My code can't be the problem. It has to be the hardware in the computer. It'll take a while, but... <gasps> I have an idea! We keep the laptop on, shrink down, and go inside to fix it. It'll be way faster. And then we can get back to the quest. Hmm, I suppose it could work. I can wait. I'll use my buffness to get XP and get even more buff. And take your time. I'm still deciding on belt color. Hot pink or fuchsia. Oh, or maybe magenta. I hadn't even considered magenta. BRB, we're going AFK. Tiny power! Holy hard drive! Who knew computers were so cool? Technically, not all computers are. I customized each and every transistor chip of mine. It's a slow process. Huh. I never thought about a keyboard from this perspective. The letters are upside down. Coming straight for us? What? Who's typing on my laptop? Captain Collywobbles? We're fine. Just avoided a minor cat astrophy. Glad you're okay, because the honey stuff's definitely getting worse. If we don't fix it soon, honey will take over Unicorn Quest Rainbow Magic forever, and that will be one sticky situation. <gasps> Polly, we need to go time here to reach the code. You got it. Tiny power! This is the code to my game. That line's the coding for my fairy wings, and that's all the options for eye color. <gasps> you can customize the eye color? What's that part for? <gasps> Me? I didn't code that. It has to be a hardware problem. My code was perfect. Not anymore. It must be a computer bug. Or computer bees? These bees must have been the work of a brilliant hacker. <laughs> or it could have been your cat. Oh, that cat does love a warm keyboard. 
Maybe if I remote access the code with my phone, I can delete the bees. Yeah! Be gone, bees! The bees are regenerating faster than I can delete! Uh, hate to be a buzzkill, but I found the hive! Maybe I'm not the coder I thought I was. Yes, you are! You just gotta think! Maybe if I delete the whole game... No way we're deleting it when I know we can fix it. If the hive's in the game, we'll have to go in and defeat the bees there. Hmm. I'd have to rewrite the code so we can play from inside the computer. Nick, Lila, get ready to play the game of your life! Oh yeah! Bring it! Hmm. I should add wings if we're fighting bees. I hope this works. Whoa! I knew I programmed it to auto-recognize a returning player, but I never expected this. Shawnee the coding genius. Holla! Uh, Nick. <laughs> the hive's over there. Those bees look dangerous. Any ideas? Hmm, the bees are a glitch. But how do you defeat a glitch? The glitch! Polly, you're a genius! I am. Whew. I programmed a wishing well into the game to store items, but anything I put in it would be gone the next time I turned on my computer. It's perfect! If we put the bees in the well and shut the computer off, we get rid of them for good! I like it, but how will we get the bees into this, uh, glitching well? Hmm... We can use flowers to lure the bees and trap them in this honeypot. It may look small, but I programmed it to be, um, not small on the inside. To do this right, we'll need to wait for Lila. Enough waiting. I want to win. And she's off. Ah! <laughs> no fair. Uh, unbelievable. not going with the fuchsia. If you do it too soon, they'll get out of the well before we turn off the laptop. How are we going to do that from inside the game? We've got a friend on the outside. More bees! Let's do this! Captain Collywobbles! Captain Collywobbles! Here, Kitty Kitty! Wake up! It's okay. Now I need you to be a... We have to 
wait for Shawnee's signal. Polly. Sure thing. And I am so done with bees. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Mom and Dad. Going to the park. <laughs> Sorry, Peaches, but I have to go. Someone else can take you for your walk, okay? <laughs> Ready to shred. Helmets on, ladies. Let's ride! Sure couldn't do this if we brought Peaches along, right, girls? Mass times of velocity equals death by dodgeball! Boarding. Just me, the fresh air, and a random tiny parrot flying next to me. Uh, hi. Wait, a tiny parrot? Boom! Power save! Are you okay, Polly? Uh, did you two happen to see a tiny parrot fly by? Like a baby parrot? No, like a pocket-sized parrot? Oh, a pocket-sized parrot? But you've never pocket-sized a parrot. Or has she? No, which is exactly why we have to find it. Come on! Parrot, is that... <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, definitely not a tiny parrot. No parrot over here either. Huh. Oh. Uh. Little help, though? Holly, we've been looking for this parrot for over an hour. I think it's probably long gone by now. But if there's a pocket-sized parrot out there, I have to find it. Maybe it's the descendant of great-great-great-great-great-grandma Prudence's parrot pal. Like the pandas at Panda Beach. Crackers! Shawnee's right. It's time for a snack attack. No! Look! Aww. Shush it, shush it. We need to get closer. It's okay, little parrot. Don't be scared. Easy now. No one wants to hurt you. Uh, hi, Penelope. Hi, Penelope. Pocket time. Pocket time. <gasps> O.M. Parrot. Did you say Penelope? You know about pocket time? That's what her grandma would say to activate the locket before she gave it to Polly. Oh, well, thank you so much for explaining something I already know. We won't hurt you. <gasps> Come on, after that parrot. <laughs> there! Almost! <laughs> to catch the bird, one must think like the bird. Become the bird. And... Apparently hold still just long enough for it to land on you. <gasps> oh no! I smushed its house! Oops! Well, we know the parrot 
likes crackers. Hey, Polly, wanna... A cracker? Hardy har. Sure, fine. Didn't see that one coming. I was going to say to buy some more crackers and use them to lure the parrot back. <sighs> yep, that works. <laughs> Let's go! Hey, even when hunting for tiny parrots, we need to stay hydrated. <laughs> Here, tiny parrot, we got you some dinner. Or dessert. Whatever you call crackers at this time of day. Come to us, oh colorful bird. <laughs> Well, if we didn't spook that bird before, Lila sure did. There's gotta be something else we can do to lure the parrot back. Lucky for us, we know someone who might have that answer. Did... did you just say a tiny parrot? <sighs> Not now, Peaches. Was it a yellow and green parrot? Yes! And it sounded like this. Parrot Grandma? I do. Because Stella used to be my pet. I brought her home from the pet store over 30 years ago. Like all best friends, we were inseparable. We exercised together. Hi, Penelope. Hi, Penelope. Hi, bye. And each week, we'd watch our favorite TV show, Trenchcoat P.I. <sighs> We never missed a single episode. Uh, uh, before I go, there's just one last thing that's got my trench coat in a twist. Trench coat in a twist. Trench coat in a twist. Ah! You're right. The maid is the art thief, Stella. Stella knew all of my secrets, too. It's pocket time! Ah! Pocket time! Pocket time! But our absolute favorite thing to do was picnic in the park. The last time we did was the last time I saw her. <sighs> After our picnic, I lied down for a quick nap with Stella by my side. When I woke, she wasn't there. Stella? Stella! I spent the rest of the day looking for her, but Stella seemed to be gone for good. I kept going back to the park to look for Stella day after day, but eventually, I gave up hope that I'd ever see her again. I can't believe she's been on the other side of the park all this time. Grandma, let's go get Stella. Oh, uh, yeah? Ah! That's Parrot for Let's Do This. Oh, yes, it's completely clear why a candlestick collector such as yourself would be carrying a full set of these... Brands. Grandma and Stella's favorite show, Trenchcoat P.I. Maybe it'll lure Stella back. I wouldn't want to leave my candlesticks out of my sight either. And something that nice, well, it's just natural. <sighs> I don't think Stella's coming back. I'm sorry, Grandma. This is our fault. We're the ones who wrecked Stella's home and scared her away. Polly, there's nothing to be sorry about. Because of you girls, I know now that she's been alive and well all these years. Uh, uh, before I go, there's just one last thing that's got my trench coat in a twist. Trench coat in a twist! Trench coat in a twist! <gasps> Stella want a grape? I thought I lost you for good. 
What happened all those years ago? Strokes. Pretty sure Stella's story involved a monocle wearing man riding a unicycle. Oh, hi, Penelope. Hi. Girls, I'd like to introduce you to Stella. Go big! Oh, thank you. Thank you for finding Stella. I missed her so much, and I'll never take our time together for granted ever again. I know exactly what you mean. Peaches! <laughs> How about that walk now, girl? <laughs> I know a lady such as yourself isn't the problem, but what is? There has to be a scientific explanation. What could it be? Hi, Polly! Oh, hey, hi! Uh, yes, I see you. I said, hi, Polly! Oh, Polly needs help! What is it? Paxton's in trouble? No. Pierce got down the well? Uh, uh, why? Shoo! Oh, a fly! That is exciting! Two wings, six legs, 6,000 armatidia on two compound eyes. Does nothing gross you out? Not really. How is this getting rid of it, Shawnee? <sighs> A small brown spot on the left wing. Eh, you don't have to be worried about getting rid of it. That is a Littleton fly. That means... A Littleton fly's lifespan is one day. One day? That fly will be gone by sundown. Now, I should get back to my garden. The flowers need something, but I don't know what. No, Shawnee. It chose to spend its whole wee little fly life with me. When I got this locket, I swore to use it to help those around me, make the world better, improve lives. Now, I can't improve everyone's lives, but I can make one fly's entire life tiny rhythmic. Tiny power! Hi, um, Shawnee, what should we call him? I think she's a she. Uh, Sheila? Let's go, Sheila. I'm gonna make sure you have a tiny, rific life. I mean, it's just one day out of our many, many, many days, but for you, it's a whole lifetime. Polly, don't waste the little time she has dwelling on her mortality. Most tiny, rific life ever, starting now. <laughs> Citrus clarifying mask smells so good you could eat it. <laughs> but Sheila, we haven't gotten to the hot stone massage. Why would she leave? I would love to spend a day at the spa. <clears throat> Preliminary data suggests that flies don't like the same stuff as humans. Hmm. Ew! Get away from that disgusting broccoli and algae protein shake that Lila left here last week! Don't you get it, Polly? Flies love gross stuff! Ah, <laughs> uh, really? Yep, the grosser the better. If you want to make Sheila's life tiny rific, just lead her to Paxson's diaper pail and I can get back to my garden and... <laughs> no diapers. I have a better idea. 
My parents keep trash on the counter. It's not trash, it's compost. Fly! I heard a fly. Oh no, Dad! <laughs> Come with me if you want to live. I mean, live to your full lifespan, which is only going to be... Holly! Flies. I hate flies. Polly? Dad, uh, I'm upstairs and there's a fly up here. I'm coming, Polly, Polly! If it's gross you want, it's gross I will provide. What's beyond this door is not for the faint of heart. I give you Pierce's room. Turkey sandwich. We haven't had turkey since Thanksgiving. Ooh, I've been wanting to do some experiments with mold. Maybe I'll be the next Alexander Fleming. And for those strange people among us who don't study mold in their spare time, that means... Come on, Polly. Even strange people know that Alexander Fleming discovered the antibacterial properties of some mold and... Jasmine's gonna be there? Well, this dude better get ready. <laughs> I wish I couldn't smell. Mm. If you think her big brother's mess is good, just wait till you see what Polly's little brother can do. Shawnee, I told you, that's where I draw the line. Ooh. No! <laughs> and girls love backwoodsman spray. I prefer the smell of the socks. <coughs> That's probably enough. Yeah, who am I kidding? You can never have enough backwoodsman spray. Well, that was something, eh, gals? What do you say we go grab a snack and spend the rest of Sheila's life? Him! I mean the rest of the day in my room. Fly. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, you resisted the The old ravioli and the chunky cheese. But can you deny the last slice of bread? That's not even really gross. <laughs> the last slice of bread where it's all brown and crusty? Ew! Get Sheila! I'll distract Dad! No! Hi, Dad! Polly, how did... where did... uh... Thanks for the call about the fly. Let me know if you see it buzzing around again. Yeah, sure thing! Okay, bye, Dad! I told myself I wouldn't cry. Shawnee, a song, please. Ahem. Amazing fly, how sweet the buzz. Ooh. Maybe something a little lighter? We don't want you-know-who to know you-know-what and is about to you-know-die. Okay, jaunty. I can do jaunty. <laughs> I'm Sheila the Fly, and I can't deny that Shawnee and Polly don't want to say bye. Whoa, enough jitterbugging. I'll say a few words. Sheila, I am so glad I got to make your life tiny-rific, even though it was a pretty gross day for me. It's... it's over. And now your watch has ended. When we met, 
I never thought I could come to care so much for a fly. But now, there will always be a compost can in my heart with your name on it. I guess you could say, we both had a big day. Sheila? You're alive? Where are you going? Um, you know how I said Sheila was a little tin fly because she had a brown spot on her wing? Well, turns out that spot was on my magnifying glass. Must have gotten it dirty in my garden this morning. So, Sheila's just a regular fly who lives a regular fly amount of time? Yep, like five days. Well, back to my garden. Huh? Wow, I did such a good job making Sheila's day great that she brought all her friends. All her... Ah! Oh dear. Oh! Every pocket for themselves! Polly, what should we do? It's time. Operation Dirty Diaper starts now. Conclusive evidence. The Mod Quad can't operate with compost in its engine. Huh. Like plants just need a nitrogen rich compost. Thanks, Polly. You really make every day of my life tiny rific. What? Whose wife is horrific? I think I got compost in my ear. Bag of babysitting buns done, and I'm gonna go big! Oh, Polly, you are a lifesaver! Or rather, a daddy-daughter date saver! I can't wait to add taking care of twins to my babysitting special skills. Hi, Coco! Hi! Hi, Farrah! Hi! Oh, hi, Polly. Thanks for watching the girls on such short notice. Our regular babysitter canceled last minute and... DJ! Best babysitter! See? Oh. CJ was invited to a very prestigious babysitting conference. But we're excited to have Polly here, right? I want CJ. Uh... Be easy on Polly, Coco. <laughs> I'm sure you'll like Polly just as much as CJ if you give her a chance. I promise we'll have a lot of fun. Here's a list of things the twins need to do before we get home. Call if you need anything. Lila! Uh... All you can eat crab awaits! And all you can dunk butter! Oh, and Polly, please keep Coco and Vera out of my room. Bye! Okay, girls, what do you say we get started on this list? But I want to have fun. Uh, CJ never do that stuff. Hmm. Eat broccoli, brush teeth. Okay, we'll start with this whole bag of fun stuff I brought. Yay! <laughs> Little. Well, little is all in the eye of the beholder. Go big! Oh, how did do that? Uh, uh, uh. A magic bag never reveals its secrets. <laughs> what now? Hmm. Go big! to do? I have lots of ideas. Like, we could start your dad's list. Uh, we could play in Lila's room. Uh-uh-uh. Lila's room is off limits. Besides, I've seen her room, but I've never seen your room. I bet there's all sorts of neat stuff in there. Yeah, we got neat stuff. Ooh, is that a dollhouse? Do you like to play with dolls? 
we play dolls with CJ for forever. Well, I love dolls too. And forever sounds awesome. Okay. Where are your special dolls? My special dolls? CJ brings special extra fun dolls. I wish CJ was here. Well, I can do one better than some special doll. Really? Watch this. Tiny power! Wow! Wee. How'd you do that? You magic, Polly? <laughs> Kinda. Go big! Whoa! Yeah. Tiny power! Yay! Tiny power! Hmm. CJ can't make herself into a doll. Well, I can. I'm Dolly Polly. Whoa! Wanna play Dolly Polly tea party? I'm usually more a hot cocoa girl, but a tea party has never sounded better. Thank you for coming to the tea party, Dolly Party. Bye! It was an awfully short party. Maybe we could have another kind of party. Like a seven-course dinner or a dance marathon? Hmm. Dolly Party Makeover! Okay, that sounds nice. Are you thinking like a facial or manicure? Hmm, what do we do first? Haircut? Color? A tattoo? All of it! Uh. Ah! Ah! Those poor dolls! <gasps> and poor Dolly Polly! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm good just the way I am, hair and all. Hmm. CJ never say no. <laughs> hey, no more Dolly Polly and no more makeover. Okay, we can play something else. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> 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 If I were two tiny four-year-olds hiding in a giant house, where would I be? <sighs> you just had to show off and show them how the locket worked. Oh, no sign of them! Time to call in reinforcements. Shawnee. Hey, Polly. What's up? <sighs> well, I'm babysitting Lila's twin sisters, and I wanted them to like me, so I risked my generation's old family secret. Major babysitting no-no. And now they're tiny and lost somewhere in Lila's house. How do I find them? Did you check between the couch cushions? Not here. Hmm. Well, what about the bathroom? Not here. Uh-oh. Lila's calling. Thanks, Shawnee. Bye! Hey, Lila! Everything's dandy here. How's the daddy-daughter dinner date? Oh, I am stuffed with stuffed crab. I'll tell you all about it when we get home. Home? Now? Oh, cool! Cool, cool! <laughs> and how long do you think that will take? Three or four hours? Mm, more like 20 minutes? Depending on traffic. Hey, Polly. How's that to-do list going? Oh, it's, uh... Going? And the girls are staying out of my room. Your room! Of course! Everything's gonna be okay! Thanks! Bye! Sorry, Lila. But I really hope they're in here. Vera! Coco! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Aha! Gotcha! Hmm. <laughs> Yay! Play again! Now you hide. No, no more games. And you both are gonna get a stern talking to when we're back to normal sized. Go big! Aw, but I like being teeny tiny, and I don't like talking twos. Hmm, CJ never made 
tickets go big. Oh, come on! CJ never made you go any size. And I don't care anymore how much you like her better than me. So maybe I won't be the fun babysitter, but I'm gonna try and be an okay babysitter by finally doing your dad's list. And an okay friend to Lila by saying, get out of her room right now. Just three teeny bites of broccoli. Don't they look like tiny trees? Whoa! Okay, tiny power! Wowie! Look, giant broccoli trees! Haven't you always wanted to eat a tree? Time story. Me! Go big! Oh, but, but, can we stay teeny tiny while you read? Please? Hmm, okay. If you stay in bed, I'll let you stay pocket sized. Yay! You're nice, Polly. And then the princess swooped in to save the. You got them to do everything on the list and actually put them to bed? Wow, CJ never does that. Really? But, you know, being a good babysitter is not really a competition. To me, anymore. <laughs> oh, we did puzzles and played dolls and Polly did magic. And we ate giant broccoli <sighs> as big as tweed. <laughs> <laughs> what imaginations. Sounds like you two had a lot of fun. Oh, and we played hide and seek. We found the best hiding spot. Yeah, inside Lila's room. <laughs> Hi, I'm Polly Pocket, creator and head pet lover at Polly Pocket's Pet Hotel. At PPPH, your pet will enjoy all kinds of great stuff, including the grooming parlor, and the play zone. So join us here at Polly Pocket's Pet Hotel. It's fun, fun, fun! Adorable cat not included. Wow, this is guaranteed to attract new customers. Now we just post the commercial to the neighborhood page and prepare to get our pet sitting on. Ooh, it's gonna be fun! The animals are gonna love our pet hotel. <gasps> Hi, neighbor! I saw your commercial. I could really use someone's help looking after Henrietta today. Welcome to Hedgehog Heaven. Come in, relax, and let your spikes down, Henrietta. Because you're in for a full day of fun. Pickups at five. Here's everything you need to know about taking care of her. Thanks. Great. One pet is all we should try to handle on our first day. Hello. <laughs> this is Carlos. More fluff. More friends! More fun! What's one more pet? Right, Shawnee? Well, I suppose there are two of us, and we have seen more than 200 corgi videos, so it should be fine. Careful! He likes to chew things! Okay, let's agree to only watch two pets. Doorbell! Hey, I got bad luck with doorbells. Too strong for him. Uh, pet drop-off? Uh, sorry. We're full for the day. <laughs> but he's so cute! And Minnie! My sty is your sty. <laughs> Thanks! Here's his guide. Before you say anything, remember when we took in all those animals from Dr. Merriweather's Adopt-a-thon? There were more than three. And that was less of an Adopt-a-thon and more of a Disaster-a-thon. We didn't have a pet hotel then. This should be easy. Tiny power! One hedgehog hairdo. And I am wigging out at how good it looks. 
Now all we have to do is treat them, play with them, nap them, and repeat until 5 o'clock. See? We've got this. As long as we don't have any interruptions, everything will be fine and done. Holly! It's time to go! Hmm? Not sure what that's about. Go big! Oh, did I forget to tell you too? I've been forgetting all these little details because I'm so busy planning this big event. It's my duty as commander and fun. Yay! I thought you were an aerospace engineer. I'm both. It's a second position I took on because my boss asked, and I thought being commander and fun would be, well, fun. But wow, fun is a lot of work. So I need to have my family there and Shawnee too. The more the merrier. Come on. Uh, Mom, you didn't tell us what? Oh, it's my company's open house fun day. It's a space-themed mini golf course designed by retired astronauts. We'll be right down, Mom. Uh, Earth to Polly, we can't be in two places at once. Hold on. What if we combine our fluffy friend fun with Mom's fun day fun for the most fun ever? All of it at the same time? I don't know. Maybe we should just focus I'll on... I'll text the neighbors that they can pick up their pets at the open house. Good for us and good for Mom to have a bigger crowd. <laughs> my office just does cake in the break room. I'm having my next 500 birthday parties here. And all is well at the pet hotel. See, doing two fun things at once is easy. Just like patting my head and rubbing my tummy. Mama, mama. <laughs> Pamela, this is out of this world. Pun intended. Terrific job so far. Thanks, boss. It's been a total piece of cake. Keep up the good work. All right, family, it's my job to make sure everyone has fun. And it's your job to have fun and show my coworkers this is the best open house ever. Is that clear? Mom, yes, Mom! Ooh, more guests are here. Hi, Janice! How's the new minivan? All right, let's hit the course. I call the red ball. Wow, Polly, even though your mom says fun a lot, she seems like a superhero whose superpower is being super stressed. I'm sure she'll relax once things get rolling. Right, little Fluffy? The pets! They're gone! How could they have gotten away? <gasps> Carlos chewed an escape route! Okay, all we have to do is find the pets while also making sure nobody notices they're tiny, thereby exposing our secret. <sighs> tiny power! Okay, now we just need a clue. Hey! How do we turn off the hedgehog filter on this photo booth? It's ruining our photos! Hey, we have the hedgehog! Huh. Pamela will fix it, won't you, Pam? Oh, uh, of, of course! I'll add it to my list. Quick, we have to stop Henrietta from ruining Mom's photo op and getting seen! All right, Henrietta, photo shoot is over. You're coming with us! The machine ate our photos! Tiny power! One down, two to go. Where to next? Look! Chewed rope! That has Carlos the Corgi written all over it. Huh. Excuse me, ma'am. Is that giant object that's threatening to fall part of the hole? <sighs> Be there in a minute! Quick! To the rocket ship! We need to stop that Corgi! Earth to Shawnee! Ears on your left! Oh, nothing on your right! The boat coming our way! Let's take a ride on Saturn! Whoa! Jump! Phew! Who knew mini golf could be so dangerous? Hey, there's Carlos! All right, Carlos, enough chewing. Now come on back to the hotel. Instruction manual, stat! Mm, Carlos loves bacon. A corgi after my own heart. What? I always have emergency bacon. <laughs> Tiny power! You won't escape from there again. Now to fix the rocket. Hi. I, I love fun. I am fun. What's the problem? Huh. I guess nothing. 
but uh, while you're here, can I get water, please? <laughs> as long as you're okay with fun water. Two down, one to go. But we better hurry. The neighbors will be here to pick up their pets soon. And I haven't even had much fun with them yet. You and your mom both. Okay, clubs for you. And here's your water. <laughs> Woo! Fun buddy blast. Are we having fun yet? Are we? Look, Polly, mud tracks. Hey, something's clogging up this hole. If my ball doesn't come out soon, I'm gonna throw a fit. D'Artagnan! He must be clogging the hole. Instruction manual. Got it. This pig loves music. And apparently, he'll come if you sing. Shawnee, you know what to do. Hope that you hear us and you'll run this way. Oh no! Unauthorized music? Pamela, what is this? Look, boss, to be honest, I. Oh, I love it! <sighs> Wonderful! It's live music from my daughter's friend. Come out of hiding, cause we sure miss you. That's why we've written this sweet song for you. Excellent job again, Pamela. Now, if you could help with the popcorn machine, it's a fun emergency! Of course. Come, come, little buddy, so we can't go big. Please don't be scared, you sweet little pig. Tiny power! We did it, Shawnee. And just in time. Look, the neighbors are here. I can't wait to I pick up my baby. Just so much. Go big! Huh? Polly! Where did those pets come from? We've been pet-sitting. I thought if watching one pet was fun, that three pets would be three times the fun. But it turns out that trying to have too much fun can be stressful. But why haven't I seen the pets... You know what? My brain cannot take on anything else. <laughs> Thanks. So can we all drop our pets off same time tomorrow? Uh... Actually, we've decided that three pets at a time is too many. We want to make sure we're really taking care of each pet and ourselves. So we're taking on less work at once. Ooh, so smart. I get it. Bye, girls. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like we both had busy days. Yeah. Turns out biting off more than you can chew is never fun. Unless you're Carlos the Corgi. Long story. Hey, Commander and Fun, can you help set up the Fun Flavor Ice Cream Fun Day Station? Actually, boss, I think that's a bit too much fun for me. I'd like to play a round of mini golf with my family and enjoy the event I planned. Oh, of course. Thanks for all your hard work today. I'll take it from here. Come on, Mom. Let's go have some fun. You deserve it. 